Okay, today's topic is how to save and persist summary profile statistics of your data from Azure Data Factory when using data flows. Okay, so let's first talk a little bit about what summary statistics are. Typically, you'll use statistics to get a profile of your data and to better understand the contents of your data sets and your data sources. So when you're in Data Factory using data flows, and I'm, uh, in this case, I am highlighted on my movies source, I have my data preview, so I'm looking at a sampling of my data. Let me bring this up into full screen for you at the bottom. Now you can see some of the sample data coming in uh, through my data flow. Now when I'm in data preview, one of the things I can do is I can take individual fields, individual columns. Let's start with year, for example. Now I have year casted to an integer. Now when I click on the statistics button here, I will get summary profile stats. This is similar as if you were say a data scientist, you're using some sort of a data science workbench and you uh, ask for summary stats. This is the same kind of profiling of the data. I have the profiling uh, sampling set to, under debug settings, set to a limit of 1000. You can increase this and you can get more data with how you want to set that limit. So you see that in this column of year, it is in an integer and it, this is the distribution of values within that. And you can see how frequently the frequency of each of the values in that range. I have a thousand uh, that are not null, which means there are zero nulls. And you can see the difference there in deviations and variances, min, max, etc. Now, if I am on a, let's say, a string or a text column and I click statistics, I'm going to get more sort of categorical feedback on that data. I'm going to also get the null and not null. And I'm also going to get some a different sort of stats and then this time it's going to give me a profile of okay so that's just an example of some of the things that you can get from profile stats with the data flow now this is an interactive um, session this is here in debug and the feedback i'm getting is all from the data frame in memory and it's displayed on my screen i want to persist as i want to save this and i want to do that in an automated fashion where you can do that and how you would do that is to create a data flow now the data flow that i have on, that I have on my screen uh, does pretty much most of the um, statistics in the uh, data flow profiling and what I will do is I'll put a link in the description of where you can download the template for this data flow and you can add this to your pipeline. So let me show you how it's done and you can always take this and you can modify it and you can use these techniques to create any sort of stats that you want. Now I have two different branches. I've branched off from my movies. This is my incoming data, my movies data, and I've branched off to do two different types of statistics. I'm going to start here actually on the bottom and this is my summary stats aggregation. So this is an aggregate. Now because I'm creating aggregations across all of the columns, so on the, uh, let me step back for a second, do uh, profile stats column by column when I'm interacting with the data. But I want stats across all the columns. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say do not group by anything because I want stats across the entire data set. Okay, so first thing is no group by here in this aggregate. Second thing is I create a whole bunch of aggregations and primarily those stats are really aggregations using our functions that we have in our expression language. So I just did that all here. Now I created three different groupings. I created the first grouping where I want to have these sort of stats across all of the data regardless of the data type. The second category is if it's any numeric, so it's a double integer, short, or decimal. And the third is anything that's a string. I don't have anything on here for dates, but you can always create your own sort of uh, profile or statistics across data fields if you'd like to. Let's go, this, uh, let's go through this top to bottom. Now I'm using feature within data flow of the column patterns. And this allows me to do these things like say, for example, I can just say true. So any column at all matches then do these things. I can look at the data types. The data types are very important to be able to categorize the different kinds of aggregations that we can do for profile stats. Okay, so for every column, I'm going to count the number of nulls and the number that are not null. And I'm using the expression function in data flow of count if. So I'm saying count if the uh, value within that column is not is uh, is not null. I have not. And this one is if it is null. Now the special um, character of dollar dollar specifies each match within that category. So this category is true, which means every column will match. So every column, uh, essentially dollar dollar, think of it as the same sort of equivalent of this. So everyone, every column that comes in through the data, through every row, will be matched by dollar dollar. So I'm just saying every time you see that, counts the number of nulls and not nulls. Same thing happens down here for the numeric types. And what I'm doing on the left is I'm creating new columns. These, the left hand column, is the name of the field that you want to create. So I'm generating 
uh, new fields is going to be dollar dollar the name of the incoming field this field plus underscore and then standard deviation min max average and variance and all I do is I just use the equivalent function in our expression language and I do some rounding so any of the functions are going to create uh, have a lot of decimal places I'm going to just say round to two of course you can change this to whatever you want it to be but there's variance average standard deviation that way and then for strings I'm going to do the max length uh, for the a column just like we have in the profile stats. So that's it. You can always add more. This is just an example. Let's go ahead and do a data preview on this and see what that looks like. Now what you're going to get is just a single rail because all I'm doing is aggregating the data across the entire data set. No group by. But it's only going to give you one row with each column. It's going to be a very wide set of profile stats across your entire data set. So like we saw before, there's a thousand nut nulls, zero nulls. This is across all of the columns. There's a standard deviation of year, uh, the min-max of year, average variance for rating for rotten tomato and then we have the uh, max length green columns okay that works great so now let's go up to the top row in this row i created another branch called more ags uh, that's just the name that i gave my selected alias the stream this time the aggregate is going to be a little different what i want to do in this aggregate is i want to take specific columns and i want to choose how i want to uh, look at the value distributions across those so i'm taking a string column called title in this case so i'm using title as my group box. what that will do is that'll give me the ability to say these are the number of unique values within that column so i create an aggregate called count unique and all it does is just count because i'm grouping i'm essentially getting values what that allows me to do now is create one more aggregate called unique and distinct. So distinct is going to be the number of times that that value within that column has a distinct value. And then unique is the number of unique values in that field or the number of times that it has a value that only occurs one time. So I can do that by saying count if that count unique from the previous segregation is one, which means this value only happens one time. And then the one below is the number of distinct times that you see the value within title. Now I only want to output one file but I have two different streams so I'm going to bring them together with a join. I could have used a union here which would have been a little bit simpler maybe a little bit cleaner but that would give me two rows I just want a single row so I'm just being a little bit uh, kind of a little bit uh, you know weird about the way I want this <laughs> my output to be so I'm going to use a join. I'm going to use a custom uh, join and I'm just going to say I don't really have a good uh, join key, so I'm just going to say movie not null minus movie not null is equal to number of unique minus number of unique. Essentially, this is going to be zero equals zero. Now, I'm, the key thing to make the cross custom join work well in data flow is to make sure you use a value from both sides of your relationship. So that's why I did it that way. Always going to be true is what that's going to be, and it works just fine because I have one single row output. That's all. This is going to combine all those columns into one single row. And there's the data we had before and all the way at the end we see that we had 966 uh, unique values values only occurred one time and 183 distinct values within the data set so go over to the pipeline now we can execute this we go ahead and debug and we'll be able to get our output look at the output this should take a little bit less than a minute to run so we'll come back about 45 seconds Okay, so that completed in 49 seconds. Let's go and look at the file that came out of that. There is the CSV, and there is all the profile stats saved in a file for you. Okay, so that is it, and thanks for watching.